Hi folks, Brendan here from Advanced Radio. Today we're going to go through a quick guide on how to match servos using the SmartBus RRS system. Today we'll be using the SBus system for Futaba. We've got our Futaba receivers plugged in, we've got two batteries plugged in, we've got two servos there which we're going to match today, and we've got our colour screen plugged in. So we've already assigned these two, channel, uh, these two servos to a channel on our radio. If I move that channel, you'll see both servos are moving. Okay. What we're going to do to start off with is we're going to find out which channel they're assigned to, then we're going to reverse them, and then we're going to go through a three-point match. So if we come over to our colour screen, press on the white tab there, and go into monitor, today we're using channel 5. You can see that moving on the screen. If I go into channel 5, you'll see there's the two channels we're using for our servos and we'll go into channel 3. So you see the sub menu here we've got servo direction normal, sub trim and servo match and then 15 point match at the bottom. So if we want to reverse the servo direction all we have to do is push on that little tab there and then you'll notice that both the servos are moving in opposite directions. Now if we pan over the top of it you might be able to see that this servo here is slightly out they're not perfectly lined up. All right? And that's really easy to fix with the smart bus. All you do is you go to the second tab where it says sub trim and servo match. And if I use the plus, we start to see it moving. And if I use the minus, we'll see if we can get it back the other way. And bring those servos together. They look pretty well matched up to me. Now all we do is if we want to match them at the endpoints, we move the transmitter stick to one end, and then we've got endpoint low and endpoint high. We'll try our endpoint. Here we go. So you can see we're actually adjusting the endpoints of the servos there. And this can be done in the positive direction or the negative direction. So you can get a little bit more travel or a little bit less travel depending on which servos you've got and how you've set them up. We'll go to the middle again, and back the other way, and we'll do the same on the other direction. So this is really useful if you're setting up your flaps to get them matched perfectly at the endpoints and around center as well. It can also be used on elevator and ailerons if you've got servo bars. Once we're happy with the matching on this screen, what we do is we hit return, go back to the main menu, and it's that simple. That's how easy it is to match servos and reverse servo directions with the SmartBus IRS. Thanks for watching.